all right so welcome back again so in this one of tutorial we're we'll trying to see how to use not the, the json but we're using sql our community to help us to build our flux api so in the previous tutorial we learned about how to do the same thing but we're using a json file right so how do we use a an actual database maybe an sql our community or sql like database so we have learned about how to commit our json file to a db that you can read with sql so let's see how to work with it so i'm just going to start from the beginning so this is the basic app and then now we can actually start working so i'm just going to first of all install something so pip install flux sql alchemy i don't know whether the spell is right but yeah sql alchemy right so that's what we need to help us work it is going to be capital so we're using this one to help us to work with that so i've already installed so we just move straight away to it and let's open our app so python app.py then you see it working so this is the app that you are trying to work on i copy this one then open it inside my browser perfect so our simple app with flux is working now let's see how to add sql alchemy to it so the simplest way is that we just be importing it so from it's from flux sql alchemy going to import sql al chem that's all that we need perfect then we need to create a configuration for it to help us know the location of our database so config then it's going to pass in our sql al chemi database uri right so i'm going to give it the location so it's going to be sql this place can be any format but let's use sqlite then three then i'll pass in my books dot db so this books dot db is referring to the books dot db that we created from our json file right so that's what, that's what we're trying to use in this particular session perfect then we need to be able to wrap our app around our db so db is going to be our sql okay I'm passing my app so that's it which get all the features that SQL Academy has to offer within our app. Perfect. Now let's see how to work with it. So let's call this flux with simply pair with flux SQL Academy. Something very simple. So we have to be able to see our data. How do we see our data? So we're using there are two methods. So we'll be using an existing database. So how do we do that? So we already have our database there. So if I come back to this place and then we have it here, I just open it with SQL Lite. Three, my database is boosty DB. So I go with table, I have my table, then I can actually select it for me. So select all from this books table. Okay, so this is an existing database. We want to use this existing database within our app, right? So how do we do that? So I'm just going to go with something very simple. So let's call it as so let's call it as books. Now use db dot table. So the dot table here is referring to this our table that we created, right? So we already realized, realized that when we open our file, we saw it as table. That is the only table there, right? Then we need to get some metadata about the schema and then everything here so how do we do so it to be table so the name of the table was called books then the next option was our db so it's going to be db dot metadata metadata then we're going to go with auto load it's going to true then the next one is going to be auto load with a particular engine it's going to be db dot engine so that's the simplest way of loading an, a pre-existing data right into your app. very very interesting so you're going to, going to look through this our database check for the table called books get the metadata auto automatically load them and then store it inside this particular books perfect so now that is a basic idea now let's create our simple route so it's going to be app dot route 
and this is going to be as simple so let's go to api slash version one slash books right very simple to give it a method of get quite simple then let's create our get books then i'll pass in something very simple so this is the simplest format so we can also use the same thing to return our json file so let's call it as this option so books and i'll pass in my data right so for me to be able to see this i have to query it so just as we did from here select all from this so we can also do the same thing something similar so in that case it's going to be like db dot session then go to query dot query and i'll pass in my books coming from this particular books here then now i can just go with dot all so that's the basic idea so i'm querying this particular books table then fetching everything from it something very simple and something very basic quite interesting so if i save it now and i come back to our app here so everything is working so i hope it doesn't give us any error perfect now i can just back go back slash to my api v1 and then book so everything is being loaded perfectly just as we could see from here right you can also use postman to help us see that i'll use postman this here then i'll just come back to the same place that we had so we already have our route here so i'll copy this route the same thing then paste it here right so if i save it it's going to send it perfectly to us very very interesting right so that is the same thing so i can actually see all the results there working let's try and see how to use a different dark mode because i've changed it to a dark mode but it's feels quite nice anyway just wanted to do it okay that is something very simple very basic right very very interesting and very cool now let's see how to add some other stuff to it to our simple app that we have created so let's go to go back here then create another route and this route is going to be quite different right so instead of it going you'll be passing in let's say the author or something that you want to go so let's go with string so backslash backslash string then i'll pass in let's say the author instead of using the title right so using the author then i'll pass in the author here then from here I can just go with get books by author right then i'll change this one from all to filter by filter by we are filtering by the author it's going to give us author right so we are filtering the books by the author then we're going to get the first one dot first the first value that comes out so that is the simplest way right so this is another route you are creating so if i save it now and i come back to my postman so i have it here so i go back to the particular author we realize that we had several authors here we have several different authors so i can just copy this dante author right so copy it then come back here then paste it here so if i paste it and i go with send it's going to identify it then pick it out from us perfect so now it has given to us in a very simple format right so we have our data dante or all whatever the name is <laughs> that's something very simple something very basic quite interesting and quite cool right very simple so the basic idea is that we just imported flux sql alchemy then we created a database we put it around our sql alchemy we used an existing database by populating into this particular option then we did a simple query right so there are several things you can also do so in case you also want to use your own model instead of using a pre-existing database you can just come back and go with this particular option this is using a new model db so it's going to be class right and this particular file class then let's go to say books then db dot model then from here we're going to first of all define them by one so db dot column column see what i did <laughs> column then i'll pass in my data type right it's going to be db dot integer so in case you want to get all the data types just come back to your pre-existing database which is this one that we have here 
this is a pre-existing one so i can just go with this option of dot schema then the the table right so that is something very simple so there was no table called book that's why i did not give us any result so this is going to be the model that is created together with the name and the data type so you can just copy this one and then modify it as our classes right that is the basic idea as in case you want to use a new database and then later on you initialize it perfectly so thank you for watching the tutorial and see you in the next session stay blessed